my name is uh, Dr. Satya Pramod Jami. Uh, I am from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Uh, I am an assistant professor uh, and I have been working at SRM University for the last uh, two and a half years. Uh, my main research is into uh, making numerical models feasible at uh, low end desktops or that you can do it on a decent desktop uh, rather than high performance computing clusters. That's just an overview of what I do. In the last four years, we have developed a tool called OpenSPLI. Uh, so the OpenSPLI tool is like, uh, it captures high resolution images of uh, fluid flows. What do we mean by high resolution images of fluid flows is like, uh, if you have an aircraft flowing or uh, you have flow or an airplane wing. Hmm? These things can be uh, captured in detail at very high resolutions like a DSLR camera. So, the main aim of this uh, project or this framework is that uh, the GPUs, which are nothing but the gaming systems that we use for entertainment, mainly for playing games, we are using that to run these simulations at a very uh, low time. Uh, we can think of this as another perspective is like uh, for doing flow or an aerofoil that is uh, or an airplane wing at running or at high altitudes that where it is running in, we require thousands of CPUs clustered together. Like uh, the largest system in the world is having uh, petaflops of uh, machine. And uh, these systems run extremely uh, fast computations and these are very, uh, very much uh, power consuming. So, what we are using is we are using a GPU that can use to run run games on your laptop or desktop, we are using that to run simulations. So, some of the examples are uh, you can see in the background the uh, simulation is run on a GPU and that simulation with uh, say 17 million points runs on a GPU in couple of hours. If you take a CPU it takes in uh, 200 days to run, uh, if you take your laptop and run it takes in 200 days. This tool is extremely useful in uh, doing fundamental research, where this fundamental research you can do it with a desktop with a GPU in it. Uh, so, or, or else you will be requiring huge number of computational resources, A there are space, it takes up so much space and also the cooling requirements. So, with a 20 lakh GPU, we will be able to do uh, much more simulations that we ever thought of before. So, these GPUs are getting prominent these days and using it for CFD. Uh, the tool is one of the OS, one of such new open source tools that we are giving in or uh, that was put it in the, out in the open uh, that can actually use these GPUs. The current status of the tool is that it can run on multiple CPUs, multiple GPUs. You take the largest system in the world, it ran on that system and you take the smallest system with a decent GPU workstation, it was able to run. So, the capabilities of the tool, we are planning to increase it to handle complex geometries. What do we mean by complex geometries is it can uh, do flow or an airfoil, airplane wing, but not an entire airplane because that requires sophisticated numerical methods. We are adding that and we are adding uh, multi-block capabilities, uh, which will be very helpful uh, with the advancement of the GPUs that are coming in uh, in the recent ages as well. I am a mechanical engineer, uh, I am mostly interested in mechanical related aspects, but uh, when I saw the power of GPUs, I realized that most of the researchers across the world has the potential to think on those lines, but they do not have the resources. So, to put up a HPC system, it is expected that you need to have a HPC system, to the right of it you need to have a power plant to run the HPC system. So, the main interest is, of mine is how we can maximize the, two, the GPU cards that are available in the market, which are uh, roughly not expensive compared to HPC system and can we make codes that can run on these things. This is what kindled my interest to uh, put in uh, an open source code that can actually uh, run on desktops 
and it is accessible to everyone that is what the ma my major motto is and uh, it is always my dream that uh, even uh, the institutes that does not have or the researchers that does not have the basic uh, access to these big systems they can actually do it at their desktop desks. So, that is what major uh, interest is in my in, in developing this tool. Impact of this framework is that uh, the open SPLI framework uh, it is open source. So, you can download it from the website it is open source you can add things to it as well. Uh, currently, uh, as far as our understanding goes me along with a uh, couple of researchers at University of Southampton. Uh, we have started this idea four years back and uh, our, our understanding is that it is being used by NASA. Uh, Dr. Gary Coleman of NASA is using it. Researchers at Imperial College London are using. Uh, researchers from uh, myself uh, here at SRM I am uh, still continuing to develop the code and uh, the researchers at Southampton. and. Uh, there are few visiting researchers from different laboratories across the world like Onera, uh, JAXA, they are using the code. We are collaborating actively with University of Southampton in the advancement of tool and also we are collaborating uh, with uh, some of the professors in IIT Gauhati uh, to advance the tool and we are open for collaborations and uh, this is an online to online uh, github repository everyone can add in and uh, this can be taken any other places. At SRM AP uh, we are looking at a uh, couple of things one is advancement of the current tool. The current tool has its limitation that it can take only uh, basic configurations, uh, but not very high complex geometries. The current currently what we are doing is we are uh, developing another numeric another framework which is still under development. So, it is not in open source, but uh, that developed framework can actually run for complex flow simulations. So, this is like something that most of you who are from engineering background mechanical or aerospace uh, you might be knowing ANSYS which can do unstructured grids. So, that one uh, we are developing something similar to it, but not the entire ANSYS we are not replacing ANSYS, but we are uh, doing things for supersonic and hypersonic flows which are mainly into space research. So, that tool is under development that is a major thing and we are using that tool to understand flow physics over missiles and uh, re-entry vehicles.